What's going on, y'all? And am I excited for you guys to watch this video today? Uh, this is going to be a very interesting video. It's going to be very good content. If you didn't watch the live on Friday, it's especially going to be a real treat for you. Those of you that did watch the live, you know where I'm getting at with this. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to provide a little bit more context in there for you guys. To start off on the night of December 6, 2002, two Van Gogh paintings disappeared from the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Octave Durham and his accomplice Hank Besslin, they climbed onto the roof of the museum using a stolen ladder before smashing a window with a sledgehammer and lifting from a wall the smallest and nearest Van Gogh canvases that they could find. A security guard spotted the men, but she was not allowed to use force to stop them. After stuffing the works in a bag, Durham slid down a rope, only to hit the ground with such force that he smashed the seascape painting, tearing a 7cm by 2cm piece from its bottom left-hand corner. But you'll figure out that there's a little bit more to this. Now, I need you to really pay attention to this part, because it's going to be important moving forward. He would drop his baseball cap, and then in there they would find 10 strands of hair, and they got DNA from this. This would later seal his conviction in the robbery of these two paintings. But, 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 there's a big problem with this statement that you're going to figure out going forward in my discussion with Octave himself. Now, he would serve a 25-month sentence in 2004, being convicted of the robbery, and in some documentaries that I found, uh, he said that the robbery would take 3 minutes and 40 seconds uh, total. And the museum was just simply because it was just a moment of opportunity. He would agree to sell these paintings to the underworld figure Cor Van Hoot. And now you may recognize that name because he was convicted of the 1983 kidnapping of Alfred Heineken. Now, Cor, he would die, he would get killed on the day of the transaction, and this is coming from Octave 2 as well, in a, another documentary that I had found online. A person you all may know now, if you if you followed me for a very long time, you're going to recognize this name, Raffaele Imperiale. He's one of the biggest traffickers in Italy for the Camorra. He would purchase these paintings for around £350,000 in March of 2003. Now, Octave, he would splurge all these in earnings over six weeks, motorbikes, Mercedes, jewelry, trips to New York, Disneyland, Paris, all this stuff. And this helped detectives, and they were wiretapping him as well. Police would raid his apartment in Amsterdam, but he would escape by climbing out the si up, up the side of the building before fleeing to Marbella, Spain. There he was arrested in December of 2003. Imperiale, he would later, um, how these paintings would be found is Imperiale would later write to public prosecutors in Naples, admitting to having the paintings, um, saying that it was just too good of a deal to skip out on. They were later found by police in the home of his mother, wrapped in cloth and put away in a concealed space behind the wall. In total, it would take 17 years for the paintings to be returned. Now, the paintings in question are the view of the sea at Shavingenen and Congregation Leaving the Reformed Church in Nguyenen by Vincent van Gogh. The value of both of these paintings is estimated to be at $100 million. Now, I did talk to Octave, and this was completely unplanned to you guys. He just copped into the live. Now, he's a little mad at our hostage at the beginning, but the convo gets better as we go on, and Octave was able to share some interesting facts from the robbery itself, and also a couple of other cool stories. Sit back and enjoy. Here it is. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's him. It's him. Yes. Finally. Finally. Hello, Octave. How are you Fuck doing? you. Shut up. <laughs> Let me talk to Petty. Let me talk to him. I've been trying to get in touch with you, Petty, like for months, but you don't watch your comments. I'm in Dubai. I'm here with the guys from Rafael. I could put them up and show it to you, but they can't come on. They're in the next room. I'm not fucking kidding. I'm not into hate. I don't want to fight. I don't know this poly guy. I had him on the phone one time and he recorded my recording and put it on YouTube. I never did nothing to him. I can put one phone call and he's fucked for life. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't understand shit about this guy. I never knew him. Put shit on the internet. I rewarded for bringing back some paintings. I don't know what's up with this guy, man. What are you sick? Do you know who the fuck I am? I can make one phone call. I have my fucking goons out there in Liverpool. I don't give a fuck where you are in London or England or where the fuck you at. You're done, but I'm not like that. I don't know what's wrong with you, my man. You don't know codes. You don't know rules. You don't know have code. You are nothing, man. I don't understand you. Do you like attention or something? Do you want to have bra brag about stories? What did you do? You never stole nothing. You know shit about art. I don't know shit about art. I know shit about money. I don't give a fuck about art. What's wrong with you, man? So now you can say hey, something. Hey, my bad, Octa. If you've been trying to get a hold of me, I, I. Yeah, I've been I commented on you so many times. I said my name, my original name. I said, "What's up with you?" Because you hang out, you hang out in Boston, right? Or you're in the United uh, I, States? I, I'm in uh, Texas. Yeah, in the U.S. Okay, uh, I met a few Irish guy in in Ireland. We talking about you and this guys oh, really? been moving. Yes, because I said he's an Irish guy. No, he's an American with an Irish accent. No, he's Irish and he he lives in the United States. You have good comment. You're well informed, especially about the Dutch. The Moroccans like you, man, but you be careful a little bit. That's yeah, now. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, it's it's kind of crazy seeing your face after I kind of like went through the Raphael Imperioli story yeah. and kind of did know, the sto uh, did a little bit research on you. It's crazy seeing you in on here on camera. It's, it's, wild. it's the first time in my life that I'm doing this. For real, this is the first time you've done this. I've never did this. Never did this. Never, oh, man. because I saw I, I I'm on, I'm on your channel. So if you come up with something, it pops up. And I saw I saw Polly in there. I don't know this guy, man. I don't know why he's doing this. He likes attention. I asked him, did you ever did a burglary? No. But are you into art? Yeah, he trades something. Hey, he's, uh, oh, are you fucking Christie's? I don't care. You're talking with top-notch criminals, man. Are you fucking nuts? Really, I don't understand this guy. He puts a story about the Franz House Museum. He talks about Mount Mesa, and I know this guy. I've been with him into jail. So the story almost looked real that we got rewarded this stuff. And Hans, you know, we don't care about this if you want to make some money about it, but it's not true. And we don't lie, you know, we have codes. You can get into trouble because of somebody like that, just because he wants to get some attention. I'm not in this, this, this uh, talking about art and stuff. I'm talking about crime. And it's yeah, a coincidence yeah. that it's crime, you know. I don't un really, I don't understand this guy. This guy can, he can die. I'm not kidding. He said I'm threatening in the comments. I don't have to threat. If I would threat, I wouldn't come on. I wouldn't come online, right? We, yeah. where we, where we from? You don't notice nothing, eh? I'm not, I'm not the guy who stands in front of your house waiting for you to come out. I come in your house while you were asleep. You don't, you don't see nothing. I'm like a ghost. Hey, you are like a ghost. He did take, take some pretty big paintings. That's crazy. Yeah, but it's a long time ago. To me, it's just a, a burglary. I, I robbed banks. That's way, way, way more than that. Way heavier. Yeah. Nothing that you could get in trouble for if we're talking about on here, can you? I'm Dutch, man. I could talk about anything I want. We have different laws out here. We don't have conspiracy and all that bullshit. Hey, tell, tell me. I'm ready. I'm ready for some stories. What? You have about a week? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, we we could we could set up a legit interview for tomorrow if you want, and and uh, I'll let you talk all day. The only reason that I talk right now is that Paulie, you have to stop with this shit because I'm fed up with this shit. I'm very I'm a very nice guy, but I'm very serious. Where I'm from, we don't do these things, man. I have a I, you know how many people I know out in England. It's so uh, easy, but why? If you want to make some story, make it up, but do what you want, but don't say shit. Don't do things that people are going to ask questions about getting rewards and shit. Because if people think you get rewards, they think you're a fucking snitch. Oh, yeah. You know, and he's yeah. just here for the story and will get some attention. It's not, okay, this guy, this poly guy's like two meters or something. He's like 100, uh, maybe 100 pounds in weight. I'm 70 kilos. But I'm a fucking ninja. I, I, you, I, I take you out, man. Really, if I get mad, then I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. I don't want to fight. I don't. I don't like violence. But it doesn't mean we can use some if we have to. Just stop yeah. this shit, man. If you have beef with Arthur, have beef with Arthur. I don't care. But don't. You don't want to have beef with me. Really, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding.
because it's, it's it's too serious where I'm from, you know. We are not. Yeah. The, the people say where we from. They ask, "Hey, you guys are from uh, the Champions League?" No, motherfucker. We are the FIFA itself. We don't play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get serious. That's a if, if we could people, be people call people call us the fucking super cartel. My 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 people get mad. What super cartel? We are not fucking Colombians. We making money, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the whole the whole super cartel thing is crazy. I tell people down here about it, they don't believe it. That's just a media name they probably the media put on, is it? Yeah. What what people don't understand the what you call it the how it's called I forgot how to it's in English the where where crime uh, is originally from the how we say in Dutch you say Bakermat I forgot the name uh, where it exists is, is Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the most mm -hmm. evil place in the world. It's not, it's not a joke. It's real. We are yeah, the top. I, I, I learned that too. We are number one when it comes to trafficking. We are number one on water. We are number one when it comes to smuggling. We distribute to the whole world. We, we do way more than Colombia. We have every kind of drugs. We have 18 to 20 so type of drugs. What does Colombia have? Four or five? We have, we have a lot of shit. We are Colombia on the North Sea, you know. It's yeah. not to be proud of, but it's a fact. How the yeah. hell do you think? How do everybody gets the name? Uh, let's say the Italians have the name that the mob of mafia stuff like that. Why does the mob come to ne to the Netherlands to learn about the drug trade? Everybody buys in the Netherlands. Oh yeah, everybody. That's pretty much where everybody started at too. Christy, uh, Ridwan, yes. all of them. Yeah, but I mean, it's not just now. It's for a hundred years. It, we are number one when it comes when it comes to boats, together with the English. It's nothing new. Yeah. And if this guy comes with his articles and inter, I, I didn't know, man. Even before I talked to him for the first time, there was, was already an article on the internet that I got a reward from the Franz Hals Museum and shit. I'm like, what? And then it was the uh, the story about uh, Hans Mace and his son. But it's a coincidence. I know these guys forever. So the story looks real. If people know me, say, hey, okay, but you know Hans. But it's not true. And then a yeah. guy from Scotland Yard is involved and got, got uh, a reward as well. If he puts a story out like that, it looks like I'm fucking working with a cop or something. And yeah, and it could, get you, it could get you in trouble. It's because, I, you know, I, I, I made my stripes, you know, but people know me. But other people don't know me. And, and, and you know, if something is on the net and it's not right, People, you know, they make mistakes or, or make their own story just because Paulie want to make a story. And I don't know what's, what is with this guy, man. He wants attention. He says nice things about crime. Hey, talk what you want, but don't fucking talk about me, man. We are not some, I don't know, I, we don't have to brag. You know all these things. You, you've been into the, uh, in, in, into what happens in that fucking macro, macro mafia shit. I'm yeah. here for, I'm, I'm a day oneer with that. All my friends got killed. Gwyneth, Gwyneth was my, 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 my you know my child oh, when it when it martha yeah he was my friend rico is my friend you know we, we we are all just normal kids who make it very big some of us can't even understand we we come this big you know it was it wasn't never supposed to be like this you know we want to make some money take care of our kids take care of our wives but then end up in jail and everybody gets fucking killed and who suffice uh, has to flee or end up with a lifetime sentence. That was it's not that was not uh, the, the the way we wanted to have it. But it's yeah. what is going on. I don't play, man. I'm a nice guy. You can talk with me about everything. But if you get into trouble with me, hey, it's not even a phone call, man. It's a, it's like this. You're gone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I only talk about stuff that's like open knowledge. I don't talk about any rumor type stuff. You know that you've been following the channel, like. I, only... I, I almost freaked out that I couldn't get into the link. It didn't work. And some guy says, is this really him? Is this really him? I always went mad out here, man. Yes, it's me. It's me. Open this fucking link. I never, it's the first time I've did it. Probably the last time I've done it also. That's crazy. Cause on, I, I, I recognized you right away too. Cause I remember I seen your picture on the, uh, the Peru, uh, on yes, the so paper on there. I show you, I show you the picture. How it looks like put my glasses off. It showed like it looks like this. Yeah, 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 just like that. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> man, 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 man. Really, uh, Apolly, I don't know if you're still listening. I don't want to get you a fight. Don't shut the fuck up. You want to brag or, or something? We don't have any problems. Never ever write shit or talk shit about me again. If it's right, 
it's in the normal press, you can talk about what, what you want, but don't make shit up. Don't tempt me, you know, don't do this. I'm I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm a very serious guy, man. We we don't play. We all, you know, we've up to, I'm the oldest one. All my, my friends are like 40, 45. Even Rafael is younger than me. I'm 50. Oh, Raphael. Oh, yeah. Raphael's uh, uh, below 50, huh? He's like yeah, it's 48, 40. 49 or something. Yeah. And this, this it, it, you know, it's all it's all connected. You know uh, how we do with these paintings. We didn't yeah. never that you can get get, get uh yeah I know, but the most of the people don't know you can get uh I, I don't even know how to call it a discount if you go to jail. But but it's fed up. But every country in the world is doing it now. Every criminal is trying to get a painting because other <laughs> other countries are doing it as well. Yeah. Octave, Octave, can I ask you a question? What do you think about Raphael Imperiali uh, cooperating with all Italian authorities and becoming an informant? Do you realize what this world is? And if you ask a question like this, and I've answered that question, that I or you can die, do you realize that? It's in the newspapers. It's everywhere. I don't give a that shit. Become... I don't give a shit. People don't want to talk about this. If it's in the newspapers, let it in the newspaper. Do you think these guys play? The, they are rich as fuck. They know everybody. They, they have their hands everywhere. You don't talk about this. Who are you, a journalist? Or you a flogger or something? Don't do this. Don't underestimate this shit. I could have sent somebody to your house two years ago, but I'm not like that. That's why I'm coming on this, on this live uh, show stream. Don't do this, man. Don't tempt me. Don't do this. You underestimated this. This is I know it's exciting and a big story and the Faladen and the Van Gogh and my book is on it. And I mean it. I know, I know, but don't play with this, my man. Don't well, as this. you know, as you know, Octav, the Franz Holes and the and the small Van Gogh are still outstanding. And you know Arthur Brand is up to it, he's neck in criminal activity. You know that. You know that. What do you want to know about the Lawrence painting? What do you want to know? What? I know okay. who has it. I know. Okay, who has it at the moment? Is it Peter Cock or is it is it uh, Niles Manara? What does it what does it matter? Well, you just said you're gonna tell us who's got it. Who's got no, the I, 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 I didn't I didn't I didn't say shit that I'm gonna tell it. I said what do you oh. want to what do you know about uh, me? Uh, I, okay, I know who has I, it. Can I ask you yeah. a question? Yes. Um, how did you, because you've already been convicted of it, how did you take the two paintings? How did it all go down? Ripped them off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, there was things that you guys put an extension ladder on the side of the museum. That's true? Yes, yes, yes. It, it, yeah. what, what happened over there was like a big magic trick. We were very lucky. We put it on a ladder to the side. It was very difficult to get the, that was the most difficult thing to get the ladder over there because it's the most uh, secure and expensive square meters of Amsterdam, probably of the of the Netherlands, because there are billions and billions of art. There are diamond retailers over there, Costa Diamond. The US Embassy is there and there are like 130 cameras. So if you walk around this square with a ladder, you fucked if, if, when you come on this square. And um, when we went onto the roof, we uh, next to us, there was somebody cleaning the museum, but he didn't saw us. It, he was not. He was five meter next to me or something. He didn't see me. And uh, when we went onto the roof, we know we are at. Uh, short, you have to do any everything in three minutes, you know. And we, I said, it's gonna take longer, so we have to distract them. And that's why we took, uh, 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 I got a rope, put it to the flagpole, so we knew when we were inside, the cops were gonna be outside. But of course, they're gonna stand next to the ladder because on the security is going to see hey they're on camera but on the roof there are no cameras so the cops were waiting for the cameras out by, by the ladder and i when i was at the roof when i went down i fell it looked like i jumped off the of the of the roof almost I, if my leg didn't come into this uh rope i would have been fucking dead because i was upside down that's why i lose the head oh but man i got how the far of a fall was it at like uh like seven eight meters there is a new documentary out in uh on artists called art crimes they uh did the first one on, on me and then it's that's a reconstruction like the dutch doc, uh, documentary is uh an introduction of who it is the story and the confession this is a real reconstruction and the other crook other th uh, thief is also in it hank 
and he's the one for the first time testifies that what I said really happened because he saw it because it, now it was a story that I told but he saw it he said in this document he said okay I should have been dead because two minutes above ground my left leg comes into this rope I go up and down and like 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 a clock you know going from left to right swinging looked like my fucking leg went out of my body and I couldn't walk anymore and I had a ski mask on and I had, a, I had this hat and then his head fell and then uh, they found it, but I was full of anti-dog, you know, the dog, we have a, had, a, had a, a test with the dog, if he smells the head, and then you have, uh, uh, when you're on the station, you have to uh, touch some pipes, iron pipes, the dog goes through these pipes, and there are different, uh, and uh, not the, from different people, those pipes in a little glass pot, like uh -huh. uh, where you put jam in it, and then the, 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 let's say the cap, he smells on his cap, and he goes to the, the, the different kind of uh, glass pots where the dog stops, it means that it matches, but it didn't because I had anti-dog on the cap and had ammonia in it. So if I would have sweat, it, the, the, the sweat go fuck up. And I had a ski mask on and I've never touched the cap, not even in a store. I've made the store owner put the cap into a bag and the cap was only 10, 10 months old. And now I'm going to give you a scoop that will freak you out. I can prove that they put, they, uh, put the hair on the cap. Uh, I, I, uh, when I went to court, Oh, that they, that they set you up, put a, yeah, they, put a I, hair I, on there. Yes, I can prove it. It was uh, like 10 hairs from five five different people, and mine was on the outside of the cap. But I was bald as fuck, and I looked like a mo motherfucking <laughs> mummy, and I was full with Vaseline, double clothes. You cannot imagine. It's impossible. But I know it, and I can prove it, and it's scared as fuck. Because it's the biggest art robbery in the 21st sex century, according to the BBC. To me, it was just a quick hit, but okay. And uh, that is going to come out because it's going to be, we're going to do a series like Lupin, but way better than Lupin. And uh, yeah, it's going to come out. But I'm, I'm not a mad of, of it because I did it, you know. It's how it works. If you have a big case and you're targeted, they fuck you up because the, the other guy, his brother from, uh, from the other guy's name is Hank. His brother snitched on us. He's an ex cop. And, uh, oh, he snitched you guys out. Yes, yes, yes. that's yeah, how. Yeah, and, Octav, 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 yeah. Can you tell everyone where Hank Beslin is now and yeah. what he did last year? He's in uh, he's in jail for the Monet and uh, Sundown, but he's in a, he's appealed, and uh, he's got he's gonna come out. You know, uh, it, it was the most stupidest art heist ever, but okay. And uh, but. You know, it's a big story. Everybody wants to talk about it. I do, I do like interviews every week. I was in Dubai did a, or the, the, the day before yesterday, I did an interview uh, on a Greek channel and it's gonna come out the 20th of February because it first was the story of these two paintings. Nobody knew who had it. And then they found out, yes, yeah, some mob guy, but now this mob guy got a face. This mob guy is connected to this, this and that, to the most top-notch criminals you can imagine and because the two years ago this painting got stolen in Laren it's from the same series as the, to the two I stole so this, the, the story of the robbery that I did is like it happened like two years ago it's still actual you know and it's now it's gonna go worldwide and uh yeah that's what's up and to uh Paulie I don't understand, but don't, I'm, 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 you see, I'm quiet now, I'm cool. Don't ever do that again. It's fucking dangerous what you do then. I, I mean it for sure. Because if I get into trouble, because it, it didn't happen, I didn't really worry, but I thought don't do it again. But now I hear you live on Patty. I think now let's talk, let's talk about this. Maybe it's your thing, maybe you like think it's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting and so, but watch out because where I'm from, it's too serious, man. It's way too serious. Because if I wanted to do bad, oh my God, you, you cannot imagine. And I don't even want to talk like that, you know, because I'm not like that. Where I'm from, yeah. we don't talk, we do, you know, and we don't threat, we make promises. I, I believe it. Really, we, we don't play, man, really. Too many people uh, among, among us died, man. It, it, this fucking shit out here in the Netherlands, it's, it, it's never in, it's not in Europe, yeah, maybe in Italy, but what happened here is unbelievable. You know, everybody's like, what the fuck is going on here? Everybody fled. All my friends are, uh, most of my friends are here in Dubai. You know, they're like, uh, yeah, refugees, but fucking rich for refugees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking yeah, when I read, crazy. when I read the stuff about Gwen at Martha, I was like, damn, I didn't know that stuff went on down over there. Like, I had no exactly. clue because in America, you know, the news to kind of keep it down here. 
So I don't yes. really know anything that yes. goes on outside. Let, listen, you have in the, I'll give an example. You guys uh, almost watch phone is almost out where they put a charger in it. You guys know about John Gotti. You know about Frank mm -hmm. Lucas. These yeah. guys are peanuts compared. Pe peanuts. Peanuts to my friends. Really, they're not. We're laughing about these stories. They do like two, three, four, five, eight tons. My friends do eight tons every two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading about Gwen and Martha blew my. I was like, holy shit, he was doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, like... but, but but he 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 he's not so big as they say. He was big in his his uh, when it came to uh, solving problems, you know. And he was very uh... very well respected and very intelligent, very intelligent. And uh, he was coming up, you know, right at this moment that he's going to make some real real money. You know, he got killed. That's what happened. He's, he, yeah. every, every, everybody misses uh, misses uh, Granite. He was a very good guy, really. He, he helped a he lot of people. He did sound like he was very like very smart because there's a lot of people coming after him, but he was constantly able to yes. kind of get was, out of those situations. He was number one in seeing uh, difficult situations, number one to see cops, everything. But this guy went to jail when he was 13 and like forever, you know. He was like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, one thing that I do have to ask is like they talk about um, his brother whenever his brother got killed in front of him. Was that is that true? Because it seems yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. it's, a, it's, it's in '92. I knew I knew him yeah. as well. If you would read my book, you would read the story what really happened. It's that's why that's how this shit started. I'm from Amsterdam West. He's from the south, and we got into the west and south got to a fight. But I'm the only guy who walks everywhere in Amsterdam. I'm also the only guy who walks to every group, group up to today because I'm not in the drug trade, you know? And yeah, I'm yeah, you're kind of like neutral in between yes, everybody. Yes. I'm the coffee and none of Amsterdam. Give me a, uh, give me your, what, what's your book called? Is it in English too? No, but it's going to be translated when the series coming out and we're going to do a big documentary for National Geographic. I can't say what it's going to be about, but this is going to be, Ah, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, share that to me. I, I I get people that come in here and they'll say they're somebody, but sometimes, like most of the time, they're not. So it's probably whenever you were coming in, they're like you were saying who you were, but I was like, nah, that can't be that, him. That's why I got so <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> bitch, put me on, Paul. You yeah, bitch. Yeah. You have to come on, put me in. But I'm not like that, really. I don't like. We had we had enough fights, you know. We had enough violence. Everybody's sick and fed of it. Fed of it fed up with it and we don't have time for these things you know uh if paulie wants to say something okay but make sure it's right and don't put don't say, don't put any lies about me or mistakes because where i'm from they they don't uh handle mistakes if you did they say oh maybe were we wrong oh it don't matter let's go on that's how it works you know yeah it's hey Octave, to... i yes. i definitely love to have you back on again like either if you have time uh, for the next time, like just to tell your whole story, I'm down. Like I really do uh, yeah. want to know. It's uh, but I I, I, interesting. I I have you have to give me some um, a personal stuff so I can email you or something. Give me okay. your email. I write it down because I cannot uh, say anything yeah. about online. You know, wait, wait. I'll I'll put it in the private chat. I'll put my email down. You just click on that little private chat thing, and you'll see my email. I, but does okay do, do you do it now yeah i'm doing it right now i'll, I'll let make, you know when then, i send it then I, then I make a screenshot and then i email you tomorrow or something yeah i just i just sent it just now uh, where, where is where, i don't, I don't so, see so so uh click on the private chat yeah i don't see but is it you're in the show everyone can see you hear you no i see I don't no see no that. it's on the it's on the uh right I'll check. Oh yeah, I see something here. Yeah, you find it. You found it. Oh yeah, I see six six nine six nine. Is that yep, it? Yep, yep, yep. That's it. You are related to six nine, the MC, the rapper? No, 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 no. The, <laughs> there was the six nine, like the sex, the sex position. <laughs> that's the only reason to, why I to, did it. To me, to me, six nine six nine means there's something different. It means list. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh paulie uh do what you want to do but please don't say shit about me anymore because I, I i i i'm a very straight up guy and i'm very uh respectable uh everybody and if somebody does something like that 
I get mad, man, because if I was like that, I would have been dead, you know, where I'm from. You cannot do this. So if you do this, say every, you can talk about me what you want, but make sure it's right. If I make a mistake and, and you hear about it, you can write about it. If I do something wrong, you can write about it, but don't make shit up. Um, yeah, Octav, what I'd like to say is you were never, ever a target. I've always wanted to expose Arthur Brain okay, for being a okay, criminal. That is not the problem. I'm not I'm not with that. But if you make up your word, remove those uh, voice records you put on YouTube and on Twitter. Mike, because I had a normal conversation with you and a journalist, and all of a sudden I hear shit on the internet and stuff. I didn't listen to them. Eh? People sent it to me and said, I don't listen. Because I didn't know you were recording me. I'm not saying bad shit. I respected you. We even laughed about this. Please remove that shit. I, I was almost putting a hacker on you to, to fuck your whole net up, you know, to, to put your site and your Twitter. But that's why I should do that. So if you have if you have some code and respect, take my voice shit off, please. Okay, yeah. now yeah, okay, but Octav, as I say, all I wanted to do was expose Arthur Bram for corrupting the Dutch police and for acting like a criminal when he pretends that he's the knight in shining armor. And even you agree that Arthur Brain's a criminal. I don't agree that he's a criminal. I don't know exactly what you talk about, but in this in this work, you have to do criminal stuff. Otherwise, you can't solve shit. And it's up to them if they convict you or not. But in this in this world with, with paintings, you have to do things that are not allowed. And for him, he has to keep to the rules and law, but I don't have to. That's why I am. I take my own risk, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you can't solve shit. How can talk uh, uh, or uh, negotiate to get a painting back if the guy is a criminal and is wanted and the painting is stolen? I, I'm not, uh, uh, by law, I'm not even allowed to talk with him because he's in a, you know, he's, uh, I call it, uh, not keeping to the law. Yeah, there has to, you have a, let's say, uh, a, a, a black side, a white side, and this is a gray side, this is a gray area, you know what I mean? That's, otherwise you can't solve shit. And I don't know what Arthur do, does exactly. Uh, I work with Arthur, Arthur, Arthur uh, talks to the DA and cops. I don't, I talk to my people. Arthur doesn't tell me everything. I don't tell him everything. And in the middle, we can solve shit. So if you have beef with him, make sure your beef is with him. Don't make beef. You don't want to have beef with me. I, you know, I don't want to threat nothing. I hope you understand me. I, I think I'm very nice to you that I talk to you like th this way. Yeah, that's no, that's that, that is very good. And can I I'll be I'll this? be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I can I just say this, Octave? Right? Can you see the Franz Hals laughing boys and the Van Gogh being recovered? Or would they never be recovered? Yeah, they will be recovered. I know I don't know about the France, but the Van Gogh will be recovered. It won't take long. You've been saying that though for two years. Uh, and how, how long does it take that the painting comes back? It takes 20. The Van Goghs took 14. I know who has it. It will come back. Everybody knows who has it. It's not well, the guy. Yeah, you, yeah, it's, not, well, it's, not the, it's not the guy you mentioned, by the way. No, okay, that's fair enough. But um, the insurance company, you paid out 15 million on that and 20 million on the Franz Hole. So they, you know, they've lost 30, 35 million. So they'd be it's, prepared to pay 20%, 20% to get it back. It's it's not true. The From Laren is, is, uh, uh, was insured for 1.2, uh, for 6 million. And they didn't pay nothing, yet, not yet. And but uh, France House, I didn't know. But the France House, they said the newspaper was 50 million, and the painting got stolen before. It's not that much. And because and the, even the media uh, makes it a problem because if the media puts in uh, that the painting is 15 million, and we know it's worth two million, and uh, and they want to sell it, and, and I know it's two million, they're gonna say no. The newspaper says 50 million. So the media fucks these things up. You know what I mean? And even you go for it. You know. It's not, and if it, if it was, I would say, yeah, you're right, but you're not. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, as I say, I just wanted to expose the corruption with the Dutch police. I mean, Richard, what's his name? Uh, you know, Richard, who's in charge of the art police. I mean, he's in tight with Arthur Brand, and they're doing things which actually are not legal. I just explained to you. I just explained to you how it works. You have a gray area. If you have to solve these things, there are going to happen things that are not uh, legally. But Arthur does legally things. If I if I step in, it's my risk what I do. That's, just, that's what I explain. And what they do uh, when I'm not there, I don't know. 
And how are you going to expose this? If you expose it once, how many times you want to expose this for the, the next 20, 20 times, the next 20 years? If you expose this once, okay, we know. So well, what do you want? You hate Arthur probably, okay? We know by now how long you want to show this. Get over it, man. Shit. Uh, okay, <laughs> can, yes. can I ask one more thing? Um, when Whenever you took the paintings, after that, what's the process in trying to find somebody to buy them? Is it is it hard to try to find somebody to buy the paintings? No, no, the first guy. I maybe to... maybe you don't have to tell me the process, but how yeah, hard yeah. is it? I, uh, I know I know every crook of, since I was fifteen, and at that time I know everybody because because uh, I was I was uh, before I did the Fogg robbery I robbed two banks you know safety deposits and whenever I did that I came out of jail everybody knew me you know the the, the old Netherlands know me that's how it works. You know, like the bank job, bank job, the movie from Jason Statham. I did, yeah, I did yeah. these things. I did these things. Went in on Friday, come out on Monday. Was a millionaire at Monday. You know what I mean? So, and if people know that you're getting, they come up to you. And now I cannot. Every everywhere I go, every criminal comes up to me, and that's how, that's why I can solve shit. Because I don't, I, they don't know I'm not a snitch. If Arthur comes up, they'd be like, hey, who are you? You look like a cop. Are you talking to cops? I I hear a name. I come up to this guy. Show me this painting. Uh, they want me to show their paintings if they have them. Okay, come to come to. I show you. I show you. Okay, give me a picture. Arthur, is this a good one? Yes. Give it. Arthur goes back to the cops, and sometimes things can be solved. It's not always like that, but so so now and yeah. then they are, they are happy because the combination is very. There is not a combination of Arthur and me in the world because if you have more people like Arthur, of course, in the world, but you don't have people like me who have those contacts. But of course, I'm I'm not a I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not a boss, but I. I hang around with them, you know, and they respect me. And most of these guys are my uh, from friends from childhood. And these guys are so big; they know all other guys from all over the world. So I can go everywhere. If a guy say, he stands for me, he said, "Yeah, I sent Oki to you. Talk to him. You can talk to him what you want." Even the cops are not fucking around because if ever I, if I um, negotiated something like that and somebody mm -hmm. gets arrested, it stops. And if it stops, they stop something that's very valuable because it does not exist in the world. No, and also, no. I don't worry. I talk, I can talk what I want. Of course, I cannot talk everything. But and it's funny. Oh, it is oh, funny. Chad, because, yes. Oh, oh, Chad, can I ask you a question? It's, uh, you're nothing to do with it. But you remember when Arthur Brand recovered Hitler's horses, those bronze horses, they're now on display in Berlin. And he mm -hmm. worked with neo-Nazis because he wanted to get them back on display so mm -hmm. that they could go and pay, uh, treat it as a shrine to the Third Reich. Um, yes. uh, what do you think about that, that they're now back on display in Berlin? I, um, what I know is that uh, the people who are into uh, stories of Second World War, or uh, they call it Shoah Entertainment, it means um, Shalom, you know, for the Jewish people. Everything that has to do with the Second World War, even Nazi stuff, uh, that, that is big. So I think a lot of people, uh, I think they're happy because I don't know, if I, I, I didn't even read the book. I know the story a little bit. Because me, myself, I'm not into art. I used to be a thief and I ended up with art. And that's, you know, I don't care. And I think if they put it on this big display, uh, people must be happy, happy, right? And to me, uh, the craziest thing about this, how do you keep uh, statues like that hidden for that long? You know, the big as fuck, you know? I even have problems to, uh, with hiding a suitcase. They don't even have a problem with hiding a statue of, what is it, 10 meters high. That's why I look, that's what I look at it. Like, how the fuck did you do that? But there is a whole Nazi group of people in the in germany they got the leader got arrested uh, a month ago and they like with the 22,000 people of them because they were thinking that of them they want to do a coup in uh, germany because of their oh COVID. for real there, yeah, there's still it's... people like that in germany yeah, they are real nazis man not <laughs> real and that the uh, ukraine that the ukraine the war yeah the people who flee fled over it to, to the to the west are fucking nazis you yeah, know, that's it, what I heard. I I it, seen it, the Ukraine not, has like it, those Ukraine people say put your put your shirt up. Most of them have like uh you know SS uh, uh Nazi tattoo. Stuff. Yeah. Really, really, it's not a joke. And then uh, you know they have, it's unbelievable. So okay. that's crazy. Um, this is a very important question, um, Octav. Now you're in Dubai, as you've told everyone. Have you seen Daniel Kinahan or have you had dinner with Daniel Kinahan? 
That's ju- another question. I cannot even imagine. That. Yeah, you can't shit, even man. answer that. We Fucking can't, hell, man. Can't ask that one. <laughs> hey. There are a few guys in this next room that would show you would fucking faint. <laughs> um, what is it? Uh, so, is there any other like be, besides the two paintings? Is there any other like stuff that you can talk about as far as crime goes that you wouldn't be in trouble for? I, ask, say it again. What? Uh, is there besides the two paintings that you took? The, is yes. there any other um cry like and is there any other jobs that you did that of, you would be able to talk about that you won't get in trouble for what do you want to talk about hey i'm down for whatever yeah, you, you, like whatever you feel good talking about but, but, can but, i just ask one question you know edin gacken in uh Octave. he's been released so he's no problem is he next door that's all we what? want to know. Paddy, is he next door? If so, can you get him on the live? Because Paddy would like to talk to him. You ask unbelievably questions. You're nuts. You're really nuts. <laughs> I know he is. You are nuts. <laughs> if I ask, the, I, if I say this to the next one, do you, do you talk like that? Hey, I just told you I'm a nice guy. They don't play. If you really are onto them like this, stop. I'm not kidding. Yeah, hey, or we can't, we, can't, we can't put any names out there. I was just wondering, that's all. I mean, you know, we'd like to speak to Eddie. So how are you feeling now? I I, I could give you an answer. Six of these guys got arrested. One of them is next in this room. (laughs) Here we go. There you go. See? There you go, everyone. I don't don't understand that you're smiling, but you are nuts. I'm not kidding, man. I don't even understand you smile. If I ask these, you you just ask these questions. They don't know I'm talking to you now. eh? They don't know it. Hey, hey, I don't, I, me personally, I don't want to know. I don't, no, you don't have to worry, but this guy's in London or where he is. And are you nuts? You know, it looks like you don't, uh, 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 see what, what is danger or, or what is, you know, it's, it's not a game. These guys are have are into some heavy shit over some bullshit hack on, on, on a sky phone. They put things together. You know, it is not every, everything you hear is right. Or they lie about these things. These guys are targets, you know. They want to fuck them up. They have proof yeah. against somebody, but they don't have proof to everybody. And they show they want to prove that they have evidence to everybody, but they fuck shit up. And I don't know how it works in England or Germany, but if the lawyers ask to do a, you know, give us the data so we can check, they don't get it. Why they don't get it? Because it's, it's, they fuck shit up. You know, they say, yeah, we cannot give you everything because of other investigations. Hey, fuck off. We know how this works. Yeah, well, I mean, the only thing I say that is because out the six, Metza and Edin Gakkenin were released, so it's either Edin Gakkenin or Metza is next door. That's all the I'm four, saying. The, no, you the four others you don't know. So what the fuck are you talking about? Well, no, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What Belacare? Belacare? You know Belcare, the Dutch fella. He, uh, he, he was. Oh, look, his face. Yeah. They, oh, it's him. Is it? Hello, Belacare. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. But see how you are. You keep on going. You keep on. You, 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 I think you have something. You're not right in that. You have something autistic or something. You, 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 I think you want to die or something. I don't know. <laughs> you don't listen. You're excited. Oh, I got Oki on. Oh, yeah. Who's next to the room? Oh, show him. Yeah, I'm right. Oh, Oki, you know this. Ah, 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 until boom, and you're gone. Yeah. What, is, what is it? I'm not kidding. What, what is kidding. it? What is it like living in Dubai? Is it a little different from the Netherlands? I, I'm I'm not li- I'm not living here. I just went over to see oh, some of my you, friends because oh, I've seen okay. I didn't see him for years. Here I, I'm used to Ibiza, but out here is crazy, man. This is ten times Ibiza. These guys have better cars than Andrew Tate, man. Andrew Tate ain't shit compared to them. Oh yeah, really? Andrew Tate, yeah. When it comes to cars and stuff like that, they have everything, but they don't care. They you know they want to have a good life, enjoy their life. They want to take care of their wives and kids. Nobody's waiting for this bullshit. And, oh, somebody, yeah. and I don't know them only because Paulie mentioned some names about people I've never met in my life. I know them by as just by the media and they are friends of my friends, but it doesn't mean that I met them uh, in in real life. And of course they know me because I'm the guy who sold the fucking paintings. Yeah. If I woke up to some of these people that I never met before, how do you know? How do you think they react? Hey, okay, finally I see you. You're the guy. They, they'd, be pe- they'd be pissed. Yeah, they, they laugh their ass off. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't meet all, all of them. These are not people who come to a to 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 to, to a bar and say, "Yeah, hey, let's have a sit." Are you nuts? They 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 move in silence. So now and then you see them on the on the internet or something. But these guys don't. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't, you know, that I'd even have to explain. The, uh, so beyond the Van Gogh paintings, is there any other ones that you can talk about? Any other heists? Of course. What's the, what's the big, what's the best one? Or like, what's the, what's the most, um, adrenaline rush one that you've ever done? Like, the like the most exciting one. The bank job, the bank jobs. The first one. The, the, first offer, one. the bank jobs. Of course, the first time I did it, I went to a bank and, you know, we went in, we just kids. The, the youngest was like 21 years old. So I was 25. My other friend was 23. He passed away. And we went in the safe. We came in. And it's, uh, hey, we are here. We are underneath the table, our knees to each other, face to each other. The, the door shuts down and I started, I have a big tear, you know, dropping like, like dropping down my eye on my, uh, on my cheek. And my friend said, why are you crying? I'm not crying, man. I'm getting the rush of my life. This is the only kick I had ever with a burglary. Only one time, like pure adrenaline. Like, shush. And I said, uh, the door, the door closed. And I said, we're going to be rich. And when we came out, we were rich, rich as fuck. <laughs> and we did it five, five months later, we did it again. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, I did it a couple. Of times. I did it a couple of times. So is there, yeah, is there a lot of? Hang on, hang on, of, Steve, oh. Steve, Octav, Octav, um, tell tell everyone about when you were opening the safety deposit boxes and you got that massive blister on your hand and you couldn't use it for days after, where you were banging up the yeah, top. That, that's the that's the thought. That's the heist I'm talking about. I yeah. uh, I opened up the safety deposit, but I you know I had like two double normal hand shoes, but you have to do every time you have to do this. But I did it a couple of hundred times. My, my, my hand was maybe twice as thick as now. And it was with blisters. I, I couldn't move my hand. I couldn't use my hands for days. It hurt like fuck, but uh, inside you, it's full of adrenaline. And everyone you open is like a few hundred grand, a few diamonds, empty, a gun, gold, uh, you name it. And that for a few hundred times. And then five months later, we did it again. And I did it again, and I did it another time. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you you know how horrible of a of a robber I am, Octave. I tried to rob from you know the store Walmart here in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I tried I tried to steal from Walmart one day. They busted me right away. Took a yes. two DVDs and stuck them down my pants and got. So, sometimes, got <laughs> sometimes that's the best thing that can happen, man. So the, otherwise, if you get successful in this shit, you don't stop. That that's what a uh, that's kind of crazy because a friend told me that he's like that's the best thing that happened to you probably. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. <laughs> if you get you know you see you can make some money of it you're good at it that's what I had. Yeah, yeah. I, I if you're like a me. like a ninja. Yeah, it, if you, I was that good, I thought it was allowed. I didn't even know I, I, that, that, I, that I was doing that. It was uh, illegal, you know. They didn't see me. I was uh, I started when I was eight years old, man. I can't even believe it that I did that. Well, I got the first time I got caught. I was ten. Oh, ten years old. Yeah, that's around. I think that's around the time for me too. Was ten years old, and then and then I didn't do it after that though. Yeah, but I'm really good at it, you know. So probably the best or one of the best. But uh, yeah, and you know, I never used any violence. So even even the DA is respect. Uh, there was a court case. I was not there because my friends were there, and I was already already in jail for Van Gogh. And mm -hmm. uh, the DA started the case and said, first of all, you have to have respect for these people. This is old school heist where they didn't use any violence. And the, the judges were like, what the fuck is the DA saying? So, and when, when it came on television, another uh, press DA said, yeah, this DA made a mistake, but he really meant it. This is uh, old school uh, type uh, theft, you know, he had really showed respect. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No deaths involved or nothing, so... And they call they call these safety passes the perfect heist because they don't say how much what, what, what was gone because the the people don't report you don't use any violence it's black money uh, it's a lot of money and if you get caught it's the sentence is not that high you know you serve three or four years yeah I I can't remember how did uh, how did you like whenever you get a bunch of money from like a job. Do you put it in the bank or how do, how do you spend that money without having anybody notice? You must imagine I'm talking about 24 years ago. Uh, money was money, you know. It was black, but you can do anything. You can buy a car with it. You can hide it. You can buy everything with it. So there was no problem. The only problem is the day you have that money because you have yeah. no 
you have all your whole fucking house is full of money and you have to share it. And what do you do? Do you leave the money in your house? Your friends are going home. If you leave the house, your friends can tip their brother. Hey, he has a lot of money in his house. So you walk with it, you stay with it, you walk with a gun. <laughs> Where do you bring it? That, 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 that is a big problem because you can get uh... caught. You bring it away, you can't leave shit in your house or you have to leave somebody at your house and then bring it back. That's a problem. But if the money is in this place, you save. I put it everywhere and uh, with people that I'm not very well connected to because you don't put it at your brother's house or your mom's house. Uh, even uh, I bought like little, uh, what's called, not safes, but you know, where people have little boxes with uh, uh, small money. Oh, the safety boxes. The small ones, yes, the small ones. Yeah. I buried them in, in the woods and stuff like that, you know, I did like that. Oh, okay, okay. Put, put, yeah. put, them, put them in the graveyard to some family member, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, I used to, like, so the cops here in the U.S., if you're carrying more than $10,000 on you, they just take it. And then it's, they it's, wait. You have to, like, get confirmation it's here as well. to so get it back. Now, now it's the same here, but at that time, you could do a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, okay. And, yes, this is Amsterdam, man. We, we do everything out here. It's corrupt as fuck, you know, so. <laughs> hey, I can't believe you're on here. This is crazy. I cannot Man, believe, I, I, cannot I believe didn't that, believe that it was you. <laughs> I cannot believe that you never responded. I, I, I reacted. Oh, I know. Lot, I, 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 I must have, like, sometimes I get I get a lot of people who say they're somebody, and then mm. when I bring them on, they, like, show their ass or something here on the live. So it's just yeah, been, but, like, uh, where you... I, re I reacted a couple of times on the one that you put out uh, that Rafael got arrested, and you showed me. With a picture and then i started hey that's me i, I said shout out you do because you're really well well informed yeah sometimes you have a small mistake that's that, that's normal but you better than informed there's some uh journalists out here yeah and I, I and i just like whenever i do my stories i do it because it, it's a it's like for me it's like a crazy story it's like damn it, it's just a crazy story i don't put nothing new I don't put any rumors or nothing like that. Just public yes. public knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the thing is also that, um, you know, everybody in the world knows uh, uh, that uh, US is a very uh, big country when it comes to crime. They know about Italy. They know about London. They know about France. The French gangs are who are off the hook. But now the Netherlands is coming up and the Netherlands are, you know, number one with everything. With yeah. France with drugs, with robberies, with everything. The, and the, the people don't know. So when, it, my, when I'm going to put my series out, there's going to be a new market and every, everybody in the world is going to be interested about Dutch crime. Because we sound nice, you know, with our flowers and our cheese and our, and our splits, but when it comes to crime, oh, whew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I tell, I tell my friends all the time about like Ireland and the Netherlands, and they're like, nah, that, that, that can't be. Like, they couldn't get away with all that. I'm like, motherfucker, they did. They got away with all that. Like, Listen, listen. It, it, chance, it's crazy. The chance, listen, the chance of being caught in Amsterdam is 100 times uh, uh, sooner than in the U.S. In the U.S., you get away with a lot of shit. Only if they get you in the U.S., you are fucked for everything you got away yeah. with. Yeah. But I, if you're a criminal in the Netherlands, you can work worldwide. And that's why the Netherlands, are, the Dutch guys are everywhere. We are a small country, so and we are on to each other. Let's say in New York, you have groups that other groups don't even know they exist. We yeah. know in, in the Netherlands, we know all groups. So if you work out here, and you don't get caught. You can do it everywhere. We we don't play. And the laws, yeah. are, the, the 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 cops out here, they're they're the best in the world. This country hacked five, five different uh, PGP systems. There is no country in the world who did that. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, doing the PGP uh, on El Chapo. El Chapo started using the regular Blackberries, uh, so the I, FBI were able to just get into the main server. And yeah, but do you know who helped them? Huh? Oh, did Christian you know? Rodriguez, the, the Colombian dude. The fucking Dutch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they transferred the servers yes. over to the Netherlands. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and it, the Dutch. That's what I'm saying. We, yeah, we, we yeah. you know, we we one of the most powerful group, uh, crime groups in the world. We the Bilderbergers, my man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy reading about them stories, man. It's it, <laughs> it, it, it blows my mind away. Cause here, here in the U.S., like if you commit, you know, something major, you could be put away for like twenty, forty years. 
Hey, if I was in the U.S., hey, if I was, hey, if I was in the U.S., I would have served 300 years, man. Yeah, yeah, you would have been, you would have been <laughs> gone for life. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's another thing. Like, what's the difference between the uh, j- uh, the prisons over there and like the prisons here? You don't get a whole lot. Like, there's not a. It, it sucks. Okay, okay, listen. How big stuff is? Ah, oh, here he is. You hey, my, you my, my bad. Be- no, it's my bed. My uh, my charger went out, and I have an old BlackBerry. You know, I don't fuck around with iPhones. <laughs> oh, you got the BlackBerry. <laughs> yeah, BlackBerry, <laughs> and uh, disconnected. But are uh, you talking about the jails? Listen, the jails out here are good. You know, with the way they look, very clean. The people are nice. It's not like the U.S., but the system is tough as fuck. And uh, the, when the uh, foreigners come, I mean, we have a special uh, jails called the AB. The, the mm-hmm. big people are in it now. You don't want to be there. Every Colombian uh, uh, ends up in there. Is he, he says, what the fuck is this? Is this the Netherlands? But uh, but you don't come there. You know you have to be top notch, or uh, that they think you have a lot of money, so people can take you out of jail. Then you end up there. And oh, they, okay. You know, and our laws are different. I mean, you don't need 25 to life to figure out uh, it's not allowed to rob a bank. You know, these laws are ridiculous, man. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. The the U.S.'s laws are nah, it's insane. It's modern. It's modern slavery, man. Fuck you know. When I, I I did a I don't know if you know I did like two and a half years of a five year sentence and I, after that I never got in trouble again. I said fuck that. Yeah. I'm never going back in there. Ah oh, man, we lost him again. Oh there he is. Ah oh, there you are. Yes. Yeah, I did a two and a half years of a five year sentence and I was like, man, I don't want to go back ever again. Is the is the most miserable two and a half years of my life. To go to go to jail for one time is not that bad, but you don't need a second time, you know? Yeah. You, you don't need a second time. And uh yeah, so that's what's up. Where's Paulie still there? Yeah, yeah he's still there. I'm just Jake, listening. I'm just listening. That's take all. my fucking voice shit off, please. Because this is ridiculous. Nobody listens to it. It's like 80 people listen to it. They don't know it. Take it off, please, man. Because, you know, it's ridiculous. It, it feels like you're a, you're a adult man. I know you're into this audio. I, I met you quite good. You know, don't, don't, don't have something like that that makes you look ridiculous. Because if I come on and uh, talk about art and I talk that you are nothing, People will treat you like nothing. That's the power I have now in the in this art world that I'm not even in. So you know, and if you want to ask something like this, no problem because you got. You know, I was like, what the fuck have you done? But okay. And what you beef? What you beef is with Arthur? That you beef with Arthur, but not with me. I hope you understand. You you got that, Paul? You gonna? Take it down. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I'll take I'll take on board everything, and I said, of course, I've got no problem. I will take down those voicemails of yours um, instantly. If you want, do you want me to do it while we're here now? No, no, no. Yeah, that's that that overreacting shit you have, man. Could, could relax. <laughs> take your time. It can be a week, but fucking. There you no. go. Okay. Well, well, it's not a problem. That's we sorted it out ten minutes ago. I said I'd take them down, so that's not a problem. To me, the only thing about it that is, it, 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 you know, I was talking with you with this journalist, and all of a sudden, my shit is. People are calling. Hey, okay, your shit is on the internet. Oh, what do you mean? You know, you didn't tell me you were recording me. If you told me and you did it, now that is my responsibility. But you didn't say shit. But that is your beef you have with Arthur because you want to expose him. Do that, but don't use me. Because what? That's what you did. I'm not a bitch, and you don't want me to be that. You are my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, so listen, stop. Yeah. So, yeah, so listen, stop. all that all so, that talk, all that alpha male talk, I don't mind that. You can carry I'm on not, with that. You know, you know, yeah, that, that's what I mean, that al- that alpha. I'm, you are lucky that I'm talking bringing it like this. I even show you respect. You know, it's not alpha. I'm being real. What alpha? Are all my friends alpha now all of a sudden? No, no. You asked me to take them down, I show and you I said respect. I'll take I them show, down. I show you respect, and the way you do is like you're making a joke about it, or you know, be cool. Yeah, but that's you... okay. Now we we've, we've agreed on that. I will take them down, and that's it. Okay. They're only voicemails, and I'll take them down. Okay, that's it. And uh, uh, yeah. Octave, is it okay if I leave this on with, with you yeah. on here? Of course, no problem. All maybe, right, well, maybe. Thank you. Uh, Maybe it helps a few people. 
but watch out what you do uh, what uh, paulie is saying about, about these questions you know I'm, yeah I'm yeah kidding. yeah really i'm not kidding fucking hell <laughs> if you have that boss to talk this way you probably have the boss to rub a, a armor truck as well you could do better do that yeah i don't i don't want to get nobody in trouble but i do like i i love i like the stories you know if you if you uh look back about the way i talk you will see that i show respect to everybody i even show respect to some names he mentions that if these guys watching this they'd be like hey i've never met oki but the way i explain it they understand it i say they are friends of my friends and of course they know who i am and i know them because of the media and the friends that i know but we never met each other that's how it works so you don't know everybody but we know about each other yeah why do you have to confirm yeah this is true or that is not true yes i know him yes this is guy next to drama oh, he's here or that what for what for you oh i went out at a at the interview on a, on the youtube a uh, few years ago i was at okay and this guy was next to his room so you have stories to tell to your grandchildren or something are you nuts <laughs> <laughs> but i understand i understand but you know i'm just telling you be, be careful and, and show as long as you show respect there is no problem yeah yeah and and i always show respect and and yeah, you do I, don't, well. I don't i don't bad mouth anybody or anything like that no no problem and uh yeah uh, i'm wondering what you're gonna of course i'm also uh want to know what's going to happen you know with, with all the no no nobody's happy about how, what's happening with all these arrests these are people who want to have a normal good life and then you know why do you think they hang out in dubai they didn't flat to dubai not all of them they fled, they went to dubai because they have a good life over there it's a very nice country it's crime free i can you know you can leave your fucking watch at the streets and you come back the watch is still there I'll, I'll tell you why it's because the government didn't get a piece of the pie it could be could be it could be but i mean it's crime free it's very it feels very nice even as me as being an uh, an ex-crook you know it's unbelievable if you get something at a place oh, like a, du in dubai yes you know oh, yeah yeah i hear, you know, I hear good things about dubai it's unbelievable it's really nice really nice People, uh, women feel free you know you don't have to be scared you get raped or something no fucking way you can yeah. walk you want you can at night by yourself no problem yeah i think even andrew tate is talking about that huh? it's true. yeah yeah andrew tate yeah he's, he was the, the, he was the talking king, about it the king in dubai what he he, he has done is woo respect yeah really yeah, i think i think dubai too like uh, america and the other countries like the west they try to push their stuff onto them and dubai isn't budging at all i i hope dubai doesn't budge because it leads to nothing but but people complaining and uh, violence and other things later on in dubai nobody's complaining you complain if you don't have money but if you have mm -hmm. money don't complain in dubai my god there everything yeah. is it's over the top but nice over the top you know what i mean the best best restaurants the best swimming pools the best i don't know even i i skate uh halls you know everything is the best yeah the best designers the best cooks in in restaurants the best uh stores i mean you have a shopping mall they're like four or five louis vuittons in one in one mall yeah yeah like at the so we have a high we have a toll road over here in houston it was all paid for by a Dubai prince. He yeah, paid yeah. for the whole thing. Yes. And the people are nice, you know? Yeah. The people are nice. Hey, hey uh, Rob Chad, have you ever come across the term they use? It's called Dubai Porter Potty. Have you ever heard of that? No, no, no. I, but, but I know. No, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. What is oh, that? Okay. Well, no, it was just um, apparently very wealthy. Um, 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 uh, Middle Eastern men get lovely looking Western girls to go over to Dubai and they pay them tens of thousands of euros uh, for this du Dubai porter potty thing that they do. I don't know what it is. I know there are girls coming over there who get paid just to hang around with them. They don't even have sex and they get tons of money for it. That's what I know. They call, they say that's the name is called entertainment girl or something like that. I forgot the name, but they're not prostitutes. And it can happen that they ask, do you want to have sex with me? If they don't, no worry. That's because you must imagine you have men who are rich as fuck. They're on a boat with a friend, but they don't, mm -hmm. know, don't know how to talk to women. They pay them. They stay on the boat. These, these girls have their time of their lives. And of course, 
other things happen, but so now and then. But you have girls who make money off of that. They do, 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 don't even give a kiss, and they pay them just for entertainment, you know, just to have fun. And that's what they, they've been doing that for years. That I've never seen it, but I know it happens. The, the girls who walk around in Dubai and they're from a other country, they have the best time of their life. Really? And if you are openly prostituting, you get arrested. It's not possible. No way. Yeah. You even, even said like uh, open affection. Like, you're not, e uh, you're not even allowed. Affection. In uh, Qatar, you're not even wa allowed to walk hand in hand. They had a big yeah, argument. Yeah. About, they, had a, they had a big argument about the the soccer uh, world championship. Yeah, the, the gay they, the gay dudes yes, that got busted. Yes, yeah. The, gay the guy said not, no public affection at all. But also for straights, for straights is not yeah, allowed. Yeah. And, and the journalist was like, "What? Yes. Yeah." The culture is to some rules are, are good, you know. And the guy who did the interview was very cool. The guy from Qatar, he was very yeah. cool. Yeah, you, you have to respect other people's yeah. countries. Like you have, you have to have respect to, their laws. You have to respect their culture, and their culture is older than the U.S. Way yep. older than the U.S. Yep, exactly. You know, the U.S. is the belly of the beast. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. hey, the U.S. It's it's nuts down here now. Guys don't even guys think that they're girls now. It's crazy. Uh, it's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. It's man. I've been yeah. thinking about moving up to Ireland lately. Like, I don't want to get the hell it's out of here. A, it's a beautiful country. It's a beautiful country. I haven't been there yet. I want to go though. And the Irish, bad. I know two type of groups are, are the most serious ever. Those are Russians and Irish. Irish don't mess about, man. They're yeah. so, they're so with codes and respect. It has to do with the IRA, of course. The older ones are the one my mm -hmm. age. No, hey. I, and I love that because you can get no mistakes. Turkish uh, men are, are also, they have old rules, you know, codes. And uh, yeah. if you don't keep to them, you're, oh, you get hit. They still, shoot you in the, they still shoot you in the kneecap if you fuck yep. up. <laughs> they still do it. I yeah, like and it. it's here in the U.S. People are backstab each other. Like family isn't even family anymore. No, no, like the whole it. family structure in the U.S. It's no longer and viable. Fe and females are like males, but heavy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. It's it's uh, they, they go they, they will they were going to see what's going to happen. They will figure it out. They'll be in my, shock. They'll be in shock in a few years. My girlfriend's that way. I've been acting like Andrew Tate towards her though. So. Hopefully, Andrew, I can teach her. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Tate wakes shit up, man. Yeah. Hey, Andrew Tate's a real ass dude. Like I, uh, so, uh, like most of the things that he talks about, it's common sense. He makes Just, you think. He makes you think. Even the things you don't like, he, he, that, that will make you think. He, will, he triggers your brain. He knows he, yeah. he makes people mad, but when you by yourself, you'd be like, hey, women as well, and they'd be like, hey, wait a minute, I didn't know that. He's right. Yeah, they kind of think about it, and they're like, "He's you want to know what? He's right." And he and he's not a hater. He's not a he doesn't hate women. They just don't they don't understand what he's saying. So now I'm, I'm laughing my ass off the shit he's saying. So now and then, and I even yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, he's right." You know? He's yeah, right. he's just showing how much the Western woman has has kind of turned into the very evil thing that they didn't want to be. The the in in the, to me in the Netherlands the men are feminine and the women are, are are male the way they act the way they walk they are tough as fuck out here and the the the, the men are like you know they went to uh, they study they look like a nerd the men are the the well known men out here you know even into politics why does a man in Holland in politics looks like a fucking freak and never like a, a a real proper stocky strong guy it's a system yeah. you see it Ever, even when I was a kid I was like. How do the politician always look like they're like, you know, gay? They look like gay. You know? Yeah. Maybe maybe they are. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the thing with Tate, what's going on with him now, it's it's bad, but we'll see what happens with it. Like ah. but I, I still to this day, like I agree. Some of the shit, most of the shit that he said, it's true. It's common sense, but and the, the, the men, in, you know, Western Europe is crazy anyway. I mean, um, if you go up to uh, South America even and, and uh, also in the Middle East, the men, I don't know. You have, let, let's explain, I'm going to explain this. The, the Dutch are very nice people, very quiet, they're not into violence. You have men in South America, he's just a bus driver, he gets into a fight, he will shoot you in the head and he will mm -hmm. have a beer. We have a beer 10 minutes, 10 minutes later. 
and here in the in Holland, he has a little pocket knife he, he doesn't dare to use. You know what I mean? He's weak. Yeah, and that's what Tate says as well. The men are weak, and it's true. Not the criminal. And and, and and Mexico, Mexico is the same way, man. Like, hey, right, Mexico. If they, they they said out there, if you fuckers do a lockdown one more time, we kill your goddamn government. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you 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 know, uh, Ovidio got busted. I went down to go pick up a friend in mm -hmm. uh, Juarez. Man, yeah. I went down there. We got blocked off from coming back across the border. We had yeah. to wait like two or three days, and I finally. I went up to those cartel dudes and I said, hey, man, I said, I'm trying to bring my my friend back over to the U.S. I said, can we mm -hmm. come through? They said, yeah, sure. Come on through. And they mm -hmm. let us right on through. But meanwhile, we were scared. I was like, I thought they were going to kill us. And mm -hmm. but I was like, man, I got to get back home. So. They, they they you saw that footage two years ago in Mexico with the guys with these fucking guns you never saw before. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, I thought it was Army, eh? but it's a Sino, uh, what's the name of the cartel? Sino, uh, I, I was, Senio, Senio Loa. It uh, was the video. cartel. I'm, I'm like, fuck me. Uh, you know, it is a proper army. A proper yeah. army. They had guns they, they, I've never they, seen before. They can take out the whole government if they wanted yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh. Me yeah, Mexico, yeah. Mexico is a wild spot, man. I speak yeah. I, like I speak Spanish too, so yeah. it's like uh, whenever whenever I go down there, it's like it's a different type of culture I from know. the U.S. I know, I know, and uh, yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen, and uh, I don't know. Crime is, you know, uh, the crime was getting hit, hit. I don't know, uh, outside Europe, but the crime of the Europe is like a criminal holocaust. You know, everybody gets wiped out. Everybody. Yeah. If you, if and and bit, they're doing, at the same area? time, they're doing the same thing here in Mexico, exactly. uh, okay. Venezuela, Argentina. They went after everybody down here. I, th I think it also has to do with the things are changing in the world and they're after the cash money. And these people have like billions and billions of cash money. Yeah, yeah. Crypt, yeah. crypto too as well, Crypt, uh, yeah. cryptocurrency. Yeah, I think it won't take long that the banks will crash, you know, it's going to happen, it has to. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't trust banks at all, man. I put, I, I leave like maybe a hundred, hundred fifty dollars in my bank, but the that, rest, I take out all the cash and I put the that, cash that, in my... That, that's why you should rob them. <laughs> Hey, if 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 I could plan shit out like you did, I would totally do. If I had the body of, if, if I could ninja my way through, I would. <laughs> that, that's one of the reasons in in Holland we we rob banks like crazy. You know, we we don't see them as criminals, but we see it as a oh, if you rob the bank, who cares? You you're the worst in the world, so fuck off. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, and nobody cares. Even a judge be like, okay, you cannot rob a bank, but better, rather rob a bank than a, than a person or a story. Yeah, right? exactly. Rather, rather rob from the man than from yes. an actual person, yeah. Yes, yes. And, you know, behind every fortune, there hides a crime, you know. We say in Dutch, we say, achter elk kapitaal schuilt een misdaad. It means behind every uh, 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 possession you have, you value, there is some hidden crime. You don't get rich off of, uh, with with, a, with, a, with hard work. There is some corruption. You know somebody. You did something. You don't get rich over with nothing. You have to have contacts. It's corrupt as fuck. Otherwise, you don't get rich. You have to be yeah. crime. If you don't, you have to be in the white collar uh, system, and that's the, the worst part uh, in crime you can imagine. Because it sounds very um, yeah. Uh, you call it it doesn't we call about white collar crime it sounds not so bad oh right? like like a blue collar crime where it's like yes, uh uh a still in money where where you're like a head executive yes and you take money but, from everybody yes. else yeah, but these, people, yeah. These, people, these people take their whole uh heritage that you call it what all everything they got you know and these people commit suicide of these of their crimes you know it's not that uh innocent that's what i mean it sounds innocent but it's not yeah yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That's why, like, uh, uh, like I, I have a lot of respect for criminals that, you know, no violence. They kind of do their thing because they're trying to make a living like everybody else. I always tell everybody, no, nobody had an upbringing like how you had. And listen, at all, all real criminals wear, wear uh, suits. We wear a tracksuit and they wear a proper suit with a tie. That's the difference. Yeah. But we I, all and, suits. 
And I do but like we, the track suits. <laughs> but we but we would have kept the Nexus Anonymous if we should bow our heads down, you don't see our faces. Oh, but okay, okay. They they don't wear caps. That's why they, that's why we see them and they don't see us. Yeah. They they need umbrellas. You know what I mean? Um, it's not, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's not literally, it's you know what I mean? It's not literally, yep. but federally. And that's how the yeah. world the, the world uh world works on crime and, and uh corruption and blackmail. Without blackmail, there is no crime. Yep. And the government gets away with it a lot. Those high up people. Let's see how long that will uh, last. Hopefully not longer. The power of the people is stronger than the people in power. Mm-hmm. And but, it's coming to it's coming to a head. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough as fuck. The, only the sheep don't know, you know. The the, the Netherlands are, are, are the most asleep in the world because the system comes from here. The banks in Amsterdam used to run the banks in New York. You have a kennel. It's called yeah. The, it's called a kennel. It's called the Herengracht. The the Herengracht run the banks in Wall Street. That's why it's called Wall Wall Street. is Wall Street. Brooklyn is Brooklyn. Harlem is Harlem. Only the old Dutch names. And if you like, ah, you have, okay. if you have the sign, if you have the sign of Amsterdam, it's a red sign, a red shield with three crosses, Rothschild, you know? Oh, people, okay, okay. People don't know. And they run the banks. That's it. For for us, for us, you know, it's out here is really Sodom and Gomorrah, if you know, if you don't know. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Amsterdam is nuts. Everything, do what I will, you can do everything you want. No, but it uh, you know it's you know uh, the people are complaining because it's getting way worse out here, man. They're nuts. I think you have to, the Dutch have to go in in a few years, I guess, because it's getting really worse. With That's what I heard. People. I heard it's getting bad out there. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I don't I don't mind because a lot of people don't understand what crime is. If a criminal, if you're a criminal, you are um, independent. You know, you don't you don't need anybody. So I'm used to this. I don't care what happens. Or to government, or I don't give a fuck if the whole uh, if things go down. You know, I know how to survive. I always, always did. But most people work from nine to five. If they go to jail for a week, they die. You know, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, not, they can't handle shit. It's true. Know. They can't. I get. I, I get friends that ask me all the time. They're like, Steve, why, like, why are you so calm about things? I'm like, I don't give a fuck about what they do. Like, and you've been, I'm, I'm worrying you, about me. If you learn, if you've been in jail, you learn one thing, and it's not worrying. If you worry in your jail, you get you become nuts. Yeah, you, and, and it becomes a long sentence. Yeah, you have to. You get patient. I, I'm patient as fuck. I'm mm -hmm. so patient. I, I, I'm so patient. I'm in a Zen mode. You know. Yeah. Yep. And every exactly. I'm looking at people and I'm like, yeah, I told you five, six years ago. Yeah, I was nuts, right? Hey, okay, can you tell me shit? Fuck off. You know, you go figure it out yourself now. Now you're here. You hear what I was warning you for? You want to get vaccinated? Go have your vaccines. <laughs> yeah. And get a heart attack later on. Yeah. Go have some kids. Hmm. You see, you seen those sports stars that have been dropping lately from from the vaccine? Man, heart it. attacks, crazy I, stuff. I, 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 but you know, they they got the people. When the first footage you saw was from China. And the people dropped dead because of COVID, but it was not true. It was to make the people scared so they could get the vaccine. And when mm -hmm. they get the vaccine, that's when they when they drop dead. Now you yeah. can talk about it because, because if you did this before, yeah, you're into uh, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, comp theories, complot theory. But now they know, hey, this shit is true. Yeah, yeah bit by bit. Oh, conspir working. conspiracy. Conspiracy, yes, conspiracy. Yeah, 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 and I. Uh, you know where we from? We are the conspiracy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I always say you have three kinds of people: people who wonder what's happening, people who don't know what's happening, and people like me who make things happening. Yeah. <laughs> we make the front page. <laughs> I've been so um, many times in the news on the front page and lost count, man. I don't even—it's it's <laughs> unbelievable. You have like, yeah. When I was a kid, I was like that. Like when I was a kid, I was the only white dude growing up in my neighborhood because it was a native american you know the native american um, yeah reservation oh yeah and uh i was the only white boy but i was always getting into trouble we were always up to no good and shit <laughs> didn't, didn't they give you ayahuasca 
Oh yeah, uh, a couple times I did the. Uh, <laughs> they call it a. They call it. Um, uh, they call it a. Uh, they like you get in this teepee, and they yeah, all smoke. Yeah, they all smoke ayahuasca, and they'll pile up rocks, and it'll get hotter and hotter and hotter. Mm. They call it a sweat lodge. But can you and, imagine? But can you imagine what they did centuries ago when the cowboys came to fuck these Indians up? So now first you oh. take this peace pipe. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah. okay. <laughs> and and, and the, the, the place that I was at was uh, the Sioux, it was the Sioux tribe in Pine Ridge. The, okay. Those are the guys that fucked up Custer. They're, they're the only ones to beat the U.S. in battle. Yes, yes. Hey, Petty, I can talk to you for weeks. I'm, uh, I got your email. I'm going to email you in uh, about five or six minutes. I sent you uh, my okay. number and you can get in contact uh, with me on WhatsApp, and uh, then we uh, keep in touch. Please don't cool. give my number to anybody. Otherwise, no, I, no, 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 no. I, I, don't, otherwise, I don't ever I, do anything like that. Otherwise, I have to call my goons in the US. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, you you know me well. Not, like you've been watching me. I don't well, do nothing like kidding. that. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but and, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll hit you up, and and uh, we need to do an interview, like a full yeah, interview. Yeah. It's, it's Anthony, oh, well, not Anthony. Is Paul still on? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's still on. Okay, okay. Please, Paul, what we talk and discuss now here, and don't leave it on this YouTube. Don't put anything on Twitter or your own site. Or You can uh, write about it, no problem. But please, 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 show me some respect for me. Please, that's what I'm going to ask you. That's all. Okay, no problem, Octave. That's fine. Okay, no Okay, and what uh, and what you have with, with Arthur? That's what you have with Arthur. So don't worry, no problem. Okay, uh, again, I would just repeat that any dispute I have is with Arthur Brand yeah, and not okay. with you. And okay. sadly, that you just got dragged into it. Okay, no problem, no problem. We've got to work this out. I'm happy that I got him. To, I could uh, work with the link because uh, I never did this before, never. And I was go, I went mad. Even when there other, was another guy, is it him? Is it him? Yes, fuck, it's me, it's me. <laughs> Fucking Link. Hey, <laughs> so I'm happy that it happened. You know, we work me it out. No problem, no problem. And Polly, let me give you one advice. I know it's very exciting, these stories about these guys, but you are talking about guys. There, there is nobody above them. You are talking about top, top notch. And I know they, they're not mad at you because they don't know you, but if you will do something wrong. They're not like me, man. They don't talk. They get so big. I understand you, you know, but I'm trying to explain something, something to you. Be careful. This is, these guys have a lot of their head, you know. There's a lot of shit going on. They have families, they have kids. And even they understand because they know how the press work or, or YouTube, but you can have a guy, uh, you know, he's, uh, he steps out of bed with his wrong feet. It's a wrong day and he hears something there and he makes a very heavy decision over nothing. That's what I want to tell to you well thank you for that and i'll take your um comments on board thank you octave okay okay i'm gonna hang up all righty octave we'll see you yeah. later and yes. uh god bless and um yeah. hey man i'm glad you came on like it's it's been a well, pleasure do, talking do, to you I, I, let, let me say something to your audience so everybody has something nice to remember this heavy conversation to everybody who's watching this, stay away from the bullshitters and keep your head up to face the fuckers. I'm out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Okay, we'll see you later. God yes, bless. Bye, 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 bye. bye.